Any of you guys Nirvana fans? How you doing, folks? This is Lee from I Started a Joke. And what we're going to do today is a little story time about Arizona. AZ, the home of the Diamondbacks. A place where I spent three years of my life. Maybe more. I don't know. A place where crazy stuff happens. A place where I did crazy stuff. A place where I saw crazy stuff. A place where crazy stuff saw me. Over there in Arizona where I spent three years of my life, like I just said, I was probably, what, 17, 17, 18 years old at the time that this story happened. I had a friend named Silos, Carlos, and Carlos had an apartment building. If you've ever been to Arizona, you've ever seen Arizona, it's, they got, everything's made out of clay. The sun melts the rocks. Sun melts the rocks. And, and then people just form fences and houses out of clay. Silos' apartment had this long 16 foot fence that you know covered his apartment building after me and Silos were done hanging out no that's yeah not sexual <sighs> i meant that okay after we were done hanging out i left his apartment building obviously okay now i'm walking on the other side of this clay slab that the indians made and i'm walking and i'm walking and i'm walking and suddenly i hear I looked to my right, and as soon as I looked to my right, I had made it over that slab. The slab was done. Gate was right there behind me. Looked to my right, and what do I see? A man, a man on his motorcycle, his Harley, riding down the light. 15-year-old girl riding her bicycle across the street. He's on a motorcycle. She's on a bicycle. They met up in the middle. Who do y'all think is going to win? There was no winners, because as soon as they hit, it was all heck broke loose folks as soon as they hit the man the they he, fl he flew off his motorcycle all you heard was crash noises he hit the pavement folks and he slid and this is going on before my eyes folks i, I trick you not i trick you not he he's sliding on the pavement with his head down and the girl it flies off her bike and falls on the on the sidewalk beside me as soon as she hits the floor she screams and and just screaming for help it is it just the close closest situation that that could have helped but they didn't all they chose to do was stare now i understand it was a scary situation i understand why they would choose not to do anything me being me i run i run like a jogger i run like i'm like i'm a runner i get to her and i grab her and i grab her bike and i grab her hand and i say hey little 15 year old girl Everything's gonna be okay. You're okay. You're so lucky that you're not hurt. You got a little bit of blood. You're bleeding right here on your face. You're. I look up, folks, at her arm, and her middle finger. You see my Batman tattoo? Do you see my Batman tattoo? Yeah, her middle finger, folks, is her. Snap City, folks. I'm trying to make her feel good about herself, and I look up and I see that there was no making anybody feel good about seeing her. She's in so shock. She is in shock. She is crying, you know. She's crying. <sighs> look at her. She says, my arm. Yes, baby girl. Your arm. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, it, it's, you're lucky. You're lucky. It's going to be okay. She screams. She, is he okay? She knew it was her fault. She, the guy was, the guy was, it, it had a green light, was driving. She decided to take some random, you go in the middle of the street randomly. He tried to swerve her, still hit her, not going to swerve her. Oh, she's crying, you know, is he okay? Because if he had been dead, that would have been a burden on her heart. She might have not been able to live with folks. Now, I thought he was, okay? I said, no, no, don't, don't even look at, don't look at him. Don't look. Please, don't look. I say, no, you're okay. She, she, you know, I'm holding her hand. She's squeezing it. The man's bleeding, face down, just like when you see blood coming out of nowhere. Blood was just a puddle coming out. Just a puddle coming out of his head. Finally, the paramedics show up. I get the little girls, you know, her purse is in there. I get her purse. I start putting some aside. I get her bike. Like I said, I got her bike a long time ago. The cops show up. They want to question me. I tell them everything I saw. I tell them everything I heard. I tell them about snappity snap, snip snap. Snap. Let's just say, folks, that it, it, was, it was not a pretty situation. Um, witnessing that was crazy. My heart was beating a million miles an hour more than it already does. 
poor guy, you know, finally, finally, uh, he wasn't, he didn't die, folks. Um, the, the paramedics who were trying to revive him finally were getting him revived. But when he woke up, he was just, uh, 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 he didn't know what was going on. His face was just covered in blood. He was going crazy trying to push the paramedics off. They were just trying to help him, but he didn't know where he was. He didn't know what was going on. For Christ's sakes, he just hit the pavement at 70 miles an hour and slid down the freaking thing like he was at, at a jump house party with a slider on it. Folks, it was sad. It was sad. And the girl, they, they, they take her and she limps off. They take her inside the ambulance and they take off and they put him in the ambulance. He takes off. They got my, they had my story. They had my report. I walked my merrily self home. And I think about it sometimes. Thinking about good stories to come up with and to, to talk to y'all about. I was I was thinking about stories that um interesting stuff that happened to me in my life and um and I was talking to to my girlfriend the other night and I said, what can I tell him? And I said, Oh yes. Oh yes, Anna. Tell him about a story I call Snap City. Motorcycle versus bicycle. It was very sad. Of course, both of them lived. Uh, I'm not sure what, how good of a shape the dude must have been in, but he, he lived. They both lived, no doubt. Well, guys, uh, just wanted to tell that story, and uh, I want to urge you guys. Uh, I got more stories to come. I got more stuff to come. A lot of the, you know, my my gun video, my gun control video didn't get too many views, but I would like to urge y'all just keep uh, paying attention to my channel. There'll be more knowledge dropped. There'll be more stories. There'll be more. Lots of I got a lot of opinions. I want to talk about abortion. I want to talk about Donald Trump. I want to talk about Netflix. I want to talk about everything in the world. But the things I do want to talk about, I'm sure that y'all would like to hear. Um, I got a lot of more stories about Arizona. A lot more stories about Dallas. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later. This was I started a joke.